Hey everybody, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we had a question, somebody asked me based on an older YouTube video that we had where we had a user form that opens and whenever it opens the Excel application actually will close or really it'll be minimized. So all you can see is your user form and so it looks a little bit more like a typical application instead of having a bunch of Excel stuff plastered everywhere. So in that video all we did basically was we had a button inside a user form and if, if you don't know how to make a user form you go to the visual basic editor by hitting alt and f11 together then you go to this little drop down and you click on user form in the user form i had my little toolbox if you don't see a toolbox you can just go to view and click the toolbox button but i'm going to click a button a command button is usually right around there and you click it and you drag it as i did a moment ago with this button on my user form i'm going to double click and i'm going to say application dot visible equals F for false. I'm going to hit tab. What that does is when I click this, it's going to make the application invisible. And then whenever I click on the other button or if I close the user form, ideally it's going to bring everything back up. So let me just double click here. I'm going to say hide application, meaning Excel. And then I'm going to control click and drag this button. So control click and drag. And then I'll say unhide. And this is what we did in the other lecture, in the other video. But I'm going to say application.visible equals true, meaning make it visible again. So that's what will happen whenever we click on that button. So if we test that really quick, this will hide the application of Excel. And if I click this, it will unhide it. That's well and good. However, even if you load that whenever the user form, excuse me, whenever the workbook loads, so if you go to the this workbook object and you click on workbook and you do whenever the workbook opens you want to run this code let's say you want to say user form one dot show which means whenever this workbook reopens I'm going to save it close it and reopen it really quick and there it is the test on my desktop so I'm going to go ahead and open that now it's I'm going to enable the content the first time but it is opening up the user form I can hide it and unhide it the problem this user posed today is what do you do about the loading screen what if I don't even want that to happen so once again and in this case we're actually going to have it automatically hide so whenever the workbook opens before the user form even shows we want to hide the application so we're really trying to pretend this is not Excel so application dot visible equals F for false and I'm gonna hit uh, save and let's reopen it and you'll see that it still has the Excel loading I'm gonna show you a quick solution So the application hides, but at first it flashes before the user. So I'm going to click on unhide. Now what I want to show you is some magic powers that you can have whenever you have XLS padlock. So let me go ahead and go to file, save, and I'm going to go to XLS padlock, which is a compiling application that allows you to create Windows executables or EXE files, actual applications that protect your Excel data and it has a lot of other features as well. But one of them is the ability to hide that loading screen and have your own splash screen for your application. So I'm going to make a very basic, it's going to be called test.exe because my workbook is called test.xlsm. I'm going to leave all this stuff alone. I'm going to go right to the customize EXE tab here and I'm going to click this little button here it says do not display the loading workbook dialog in Excel so I'm going to click that and we can even have the you know main window be minimized if we want but for right now I'm going to save that information and I'm going to build my secure app And I'm going to say done. Let's save and close. And we'll actually close our workbook as well. The reason being, it just created an executable on my desktop. We didn't do any fancy icons. We can replace all that, of course. We didn't do a splash screen. We can replace that. But I'm going to click on test.exe and open up the test version, uh, which has the Excel file. But it shouldn't load the Windows, or excuse me, it shouldn't load the Excel loading screen any longer. 
it's just going to load all this stuff. Now, you can change this up. This has to do with application settings and locking things with either hardware locked or just regular passwords or encryption codes or keys that you give to people whenever they purchase your software in Excel. This is all about protecting your stuff. Not only the internal stuff like VBA code and formulas that you can protect and obfuscate, but it also protects the ability to even open up your Excel applications. So anyway, we're just going to say the original. You can change those settings and teach people how your software works. But whenever it opens, it didn't open the Excel splash screen, the Excel logo. All it did was open up this and now you can of course unhide it or hide it from there but the initial thing that it did it did not say anything about Excel so when we open this again you will once again see that there is no Excel logo it's just opening up your application just like it's a normal day at the office just opening up now if we want to go ahead let's go ahead and unhide it and we're gonna open up the original now This is the actual original one. So once we go to open XLS padlock right back up from within there, I'm going to go to customize exe and this time I'm not only going to leave that on there, I'm going to open it minimized and obviously there's no display of a splash screen so we can minimize this to the least amount of time and have that thing minimized so maybe it won't flash as much. So I'm going to go ahead and rebuild the application on my desktop I'm gonna say done save and close and I'll exit the Excel version of this and now we have the test.exe which now I'm gonna go ahead and run that once again so there's still no Excel logo that is suppressed at this time but now you notice it didn't even flash because it opened up minimized so now we have this Excel user form that is serving as our administrative module and so from there you can click a button and have another user form open up if you click run a certain report maybe it goes ahead and displays in Excel and runs the report and shows everything all the charts and everything but then whenever you minimize or click away from that tab you can have an event to go ahead and hide the application and once again show your administrative thing you just have to be careful whenever you're designing that uh, you just have to play around with it don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more great tips and tricks. And check us out on Facebook. We have a new group, ExcelVBAisFun.com slash Ninja. You can join the group for free. It is a private group, so you do have to click the Join button. We've got tips, tricks, and we've got free resources as well as premium resources. Plus, it's the best and quickest way to reach me and our other admins. If you have a question in Excel or VBA, we're happy to help. All right, we'll see you later.